and welcome to the People Simmons Check and Simmons Package Update as of September 8th, 2020. I am Russ. I get to be your host for this informative tidbit of information for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Well, as we all know, the Senate is back in session. They got back from their 31-day recess yesterday, so they are back in session today. And we also know that Donald Trump wishes to use $300 billion of unallocated money this sitting around collecting dust, left over from a previous stimulus package to issue more stimulus checks out to the people. Okay. Mitch McConnell said that they're going to vote on the smaller stimulus package. That's probably the $500 billion stimulus package as early as this week. Well, as soon as Thursday, actually. There are still currently 28 million Americans that are unemployed at this present time. Trump says that he may be legally able to use the money provided from a previous stimulus package to provide stimulus checks to the people. And according to Trump, illegal aliens won't be getting any stimulus checks. That's right, you heard me. Illegal aliens will not be getting stimulus checks. Why should they have gotten them in the first place when they're undocumented residents of the United States and they came here illegally? But that's a different topic. Okay, here. Mark Meadows seems optimistic about the stimulus talks. In fact, I got a clip for you guys to uh, watch, so I will be right back. Thank you. This week, what can we expect from the Senate this week? Well, I think the Senate is not only going to hit the ground running, but uh, actually they've been working over over the break uh, when they were back home in their districts working. I know uh, as late as uh, nine o'clock last night, I was on the phone with a couple of senators as well as uh, Senate leadership to make sure that uh, we put forth a bill uh, coming out of the Senate that at least provides a foundation for getting a, an agreement. I can tell you that there's more that we agree upon than what we disagree upon. And I think it's time that we put politics aside, pass this stimulus, uh, actually allow it to come to the president's desk. He's not only encouraged us, but he's uh, daily uh, checking in to make sure that we're staying engaged to hopefully get relief to the American people. When we look at, at uh, an enhanced unemployment, when we look at what we can do for schools, when we look at what we can do for those small businesses and direct stimulus checks, I think there's broad scale agreement on that. And and uh, right now, the thing that's the stumbling block is is aid to uh, uh, state and local uh, governments. Again, if we can push back and say, let's come together on what we agree upon, it'll provide a foundation for getting there. So you do believe that we will see another stimulus package before the election then, Mark? Or you're I not do. Sure? And, you know, uh, yeah, no, I, I do. I'm not sure, obviously, but I do believe that we'll see that only because uh, I, I've had a, a number of conversations, probably uh, uh, a dozen, sometimes a day uh, with different rank and file members. And when you listen to them, they're listening to their constituents. If we will just listen to the American people and meet those needs like the president of the United States is doing, mm. I think we get there. And I'm more optimistic, uh, perhaps today than I've been in a long time. And as you notice, Mark Meadows pointed out four key topics in his in this clip that you watched. He talked about enhanced unemployment, schools, small businesses, and stimulus checks. And he said that there is a large there's a large scale agreement on these four topics. Let's see here. But the sticking point for the whole thing is basically state and local government assistance. Republicans do not wish to help out Democrat-run states because apparently those ones are getting hit hardest with all the protesters and all the destruction and violence. I have don't know yet because I have not, I'm not in a Democratic state. I'm actually in a Republican state, but I'm Democrat myself. Okay. But like I said, I'm not too optimistic about the stimulus checks. But we can see another... But... Mark Meadows also wanted to say that we could see a second stimulus package pass as soon as before the election, basically. So basically, he's trying to get another stimulus package out. They're trying to bribe the people to vote for Trump before the elections. Let's see what happens. We're going to be coming up. Think about this, right? There's $300 billion left over from the CARES Act just sitting around collecting dust 
the past six months that they could use to issue out another stimulus check to the people, and yet they just barely found three hundred billion dollars. Wow, weren't they looking hard enough, or were they just not looking at all? And let's see here. And actually, yeah, we know. That basically covers my stimulus check and report for you guys today. But I would like you guys to comment on this. I mean, people are still going off on Nancy Pelosi and her actually going against um, the, governor, the governor of California's orders for the COVID-19 thing. Even though the funny thing is, is it turns out that the governor of the California happens to be a, the cousin to Nancy Pelosi. But yet, Nancy Pelosi said that uh, she went in there and she was set up, even though the governor says that there's no is, there's no hair salons to be open, and you're supposed to always wear a mask in public areas. And as we've noticed in the in the whole Nancy Pelosi uh, hair gate scandal, <laughs> that's right, it's called a hair gate scandal. Um, how she went into the salon when they were supposed to be closed, and she was not wearing a mask. To say a good old friend, Donald Trump, never wears a mask in public either. It sort of makes you wonder what's going on with these people and why they're not wearing masks and not getting sick, but yet everybody else is getting sick even if they wear masks. Isn't that just weird? So what, what is going on with Nancy Pelosi and Donald Trump that they're not getting sick where everyone else out there is getting sick? I mean, I wear a mask myself. Because it's not just for my protection, but it's also for the protection of those who can sit out there that have compromised healing factors as well as senior citizens. So I gotta look out for them. I try to avoid going to public areas a, a lot as well as so I don't spread any COVID or get COVID to spread. But Nancy Pelosi and Donald Trump don't want to wear masks when they're in public places. I mean, if you watch the GOP, uh, the Republican convention, you know, I saw them. A lot of the Trump supporters were not wearing COVID-19 masks. Well, masks in general, am I talking about? And they were also crowded in there like a pack of sheep. Well, then to flip the coin, you watch Biden's, uh, the Democratic convention. And in Biden's stuff, everyone's practicing social distancing. They're also wearing masks. And as we all notice, I mean, they could have basically helped the people out long before now. If, and I hate to say it, this goes up both against um, the Democrats and the Republicans. They're both playing games with us. And because as you, as I've reported before, you've heard Nancy Pelosi say that she will ne she will not pass a standalone bill. And yet when it came to the post office bill or AKA the delivering for America bill, which was a standalone bill. And yet the Democrats and the Republicans were both saying, come on, let's put a hands unemployment in there. Let's put another serious check in there. And Nancy Pelosi both both times said not happening. This, so apparently the United States Post Office is a bit more important than the American people themselves. According to Nancy Pelosi, a person who's supposed to say that how the American people are going to start die, dying if people, if stuff does start happening, like more stimulus checks. And yet she'd rather, she'd rather nix the idea for more stimulus checks and enhance unemployment for a, on a standalone bill. What is her problem? And then we got the brilliance of Donald Trump that just barely found $300 billion from the CARES Act left over just sitting there collecting dust, nothing happened to it, that he now wants to use to make a second stimulus check for the people to bribe us to vote for him back in office. And the reason why that is is because he has that, what is it called? Uh, payroll tax deferral, which is basically your Social Security and Medicare taxes get left in your paychecks till until the end of the year and then at the end of the year from January 1st April 30th then you get hit twice as hard because then you get hit double teamed for the Social Security Medicare taxes coming out of your check and then Donald Trump gets reelected and the Congress decides to actually pass a basically a forgivable not really forgivable loan but a interest free loan so that's basically what it is I don't know about you guys, but I think I'd rather have my taxes left in my paycheck than have them, uh, sorry, not left in, but I'd rather have my state, my, <laughs> my <laughs> Social Security and my Medicare taxes taken out of my paycheck so I don't get hit twice as hard next year. 
It just makes it so I have more money in my pocket. So I don't, yeah, they're getting taken out now, but you know what? If you get, if you leave them in right now, you get them taken out next next year. Okay, so you're getting, you, you're taking out $7 for every $100 you make. You make 700 bucks. Okay, you just took out $49 for, for Medicare and Social Security. Well, if you leave them in, you have extra $49 in your paycheck. Next year, when it comes around to it, that $49 turns into, that's right, $98. So basically, you just lost $100 of your paycheck because you're paying back the payroll tax deferral or as Trump was called, the payroll tax cut, which is basically an interest-free loan. And he's already decided to rook 1.3 million federal workers into actually doing this with no, with, with no way of them getting out of it. So basically, I guess we're sort of damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. So we could vote for, vote for Biden and hope for a better future, or we could vote for Trump and know we're not going to have one. One or two. But like I said, this is actually all speculation, and I do welcome all my viewer comments because they're very important to me. If you guys actually like my uh, content, please give me a big old thumbs up. And if you wish to see more of my content, please be cool and hit that subscribe button or my little, um, what's it called? Uh, that little subscribe button right in the corner of my screen, wherever it's on this side or that side, I'm not exactly sure yet. It depends on when I get done with the video and uploading it. And you hit on that and subscribe there. And until next time, you guys have a fabulous Tuesday, and I will broadcast again to you tomorrow. Oh, and I also hope you guys enjoyed my uh, way of making fun of Trump yesterday. I put a stimulus check on there because I wanted to give you an effort to get some views that way. And it, basically everything you saw on that video yesterday I posted was true. It was Trump. And yes, we are with stupid. So that's just how it is, you know. <laughs> So until then, you guys have a fabulous Tuesday, and this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. You have a wonderful evening.